Alright, so I'm back doing another video, and this one is about a video I saw the other day about a pit bull for no apparent reason in the video that can be seen being shot by two police officers. Well, first being pretty much subdued, and then being shot. Uh, I'm going to put the original video in the link. It's on Facebook. It's, um, it's through um, a bully breed love uh, group on on Facebook, so um, I'm gonna put it in the description. So what I'm talking about is pretty much the technical the technical aspect of the video. Um, it pretty much starts off at you know home and they're just looking at the dog. The dog is pretty much tied up to a truck. And they sit there for, you know, a few minutes and everything like that. And they're like, okay, well, what what's going on? What are we going to do? My main question is why wasn't animal control brought in to assist? Um, I don't know where they are. I'm guessing somewhere in the States, judging by uh, the uniforms. Um, so that's my main concern. Well, besides the fact that they kill an innocent pit bull. Um, and it sh really showed no signs of aggression. Like, they've gotten close to it. Like, it's not bearing its teeth. Um, at one point, it actually just lays down on the ground completely submissive. The only time it really freaks out is when the one officer charges towards the dog um, to try and put the pole on with uh, within just over a minute of the video. Um, and what dog, without being on a catch pool, is just going to walk up and be like, oh yeah, sure, yeah, it, it's friendly. You know? Like, who wouldn't freak out having something new, some kind of contraption, and having some guy charge towards you? Um, I sure as hell would be freaked out a little bit. Um, so, they end up leaving the dog to <clears throat> just calm down a little bit. Right, so far so good in the video. Right, the dog ends up sitting down at one point and then lying down at another point. Again, still no animal control. Uh, they're on the phone talking. The one officer has a taser already out. Um, so about three minutes in, the dog is laying on the ground just looking around. You know, his ears aren't cocked back and... Um, an aggressive or, you know, anything offensive, um, you know, he's not, like, he's practically just laying there, you know, not doing anything up until pretty much three and a half minutes in, uh, or just a little over, actually, I'm sorry, up to four minutes in, so, um, Officer Deck here, at about four, four and a half minutes, um, tries again with the flare pole. Um, finally catches the dog on the flare pole. I don't know why if it was such a hard... And then Officer Dick here at... Or Officer... I'm going to call one Officer Officer Dick and one Officer Officer Balls. Um, so after, after Officer Dick gets the flare pole, Officer Balls here immediately draws his gun. Right? Not growling, not snarling. Right? He's, you know, trying to get away from the pole, not the officer, all right? But my main concern is, why did they feel that they had to shoot the dog? And two, why did they not bring in animal control? Um, those are the main concerns. You know, I'm pretty sure that the police officers would not like animal control. Oh, and here comes the gun. And one shot at 5.30. So... I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't like for animal control to step into their business and subdue someone that just beat his wife or robbed the bank or a store or anything like that. Um, I'm pretty sure that they would probably send send that person a fine or you know obstruction of justice or something. And at this point, you can still see that the dog is alive with the one bullet in the dog. Um, and then he pulls out a gun again and um, 
saw the dog again. Um, again, like, I, I don't know what the fuck was in their mind, what they were thinking. Um, just complete ignorance, complete uneducation, and I doubt that these cops are even going to get, a, you know, in a, much of a penalty. They might get, you know, a fine and a couple days suspension, right? That's it. Why they, the police, the police in most states don't really care about animals. Um, and this is a great example of it, that they don't, and look, look at um, the guy at the end just throwing the leash into the car and walking up, stomping around, and then looks at the camera, oh shit. Alright, so he knew from the beginning what he was going to do, and then realized, oh shit, it's on camera. So, um, just take a look at this, um, this video, it's really sickening, really morbid. Um, so, watch it, it, it may be hard to watch, um, I don't go finding these videos because I enjoy them, um, it's educational purposes to the fact that you really see people's ignorance uh, to a breed and the fact that they won't even take the slightest time to try and understand you know why those dogs are trying to show and exhibit those emotions so um, yeah just watch it um, let me know um, to the trolls or, you know, the ignorant people such as the guy that actually shot the dog or other people, don't come on this video saying, um, oh yeah, you know, I, I would have did a better job and blah, blah, blah. Um, the, this isn't what these videos are for. It's for, um, you know, just trying to educate people of this breed and they're not what the media and what some people make them out to be. They're not monsters. Um, I have other videos, um, you know, talking about, um, like studies and, um, you know, just a bunch of stuff like their temperaments, um, you know, why they're even here, their origins, their history, um, everything. So, um, if you want to check those out, you can always check them out on my channel. And, um, yeah, just leave your questions, comments, concerns, everything, you know, down below. And, um, again, I'm going to leave that original video of the of Officer Dick and Officer Balls, um, you know, handling that dog, which, in my mind, they shouldn't have even been handling that dog in the first place. The dog was tied to a truck, couldn't have gotten anywhere. What in, my, what in anyone's mind would consider that an emergency case where they have to take action? Um, they did not have to take immediate action. They could have easily called in animal control. Um, there's animal control and rescues all over the all over North America and in most places of um, of the UK and Asia and Australia everywhere. So there was really no excuse, no reason for these guys to think that they need to take immediate action to the point where they have to kill the dog inhumanely. Um, I understand how some places, well I understand that, I don't understand why they do it, but I understand the fact that some places they have um, a no adoption um, requirement for pit bulls, especially pit bulls that come from fighting and everything, because I, I will give them this, it is hard to rehabilitate a dog of that, but it's not impossible. Um, you just got to take time, effort, and care in it. And it can be done. Um, I'm going to start posting up uh, videos and stuff of uh, actually rehabilitated pit bulls living in a pack, um, running around with kids, uh, playing in the pool, everything. So, um, yeah, just stay tuned. There will be a long better co uh, content, um, better better edited videos and everything, so just be patient, just trying to get some stuff to work with. Alright, so yeah, just let me know your your stance on where, um, 
on where you stand with this video um, of these cops, I guess, tr thinking that they're doing a good job or trying to better society or whatever the fuck they were trying to think that they were doing. So, um, yeah, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching again. Bye.